Hello there, everyone, and welcome. It's that time of the year. We have to send you off. You've uh, done a, a nice job in the school year here, but time moves on. Summer vacation is coming, and uh, at the beginning of the year, I told you there was one thing. If you forgot everything else, one thing that I wanted you to remember, if you forgot everything else about history, and I don't know if you remember what that is. Uh, let's just go back here to the, uh, the Middle Ages, uh, and we have a, a gal here. Uh, you might say, it was, uh, or she might even say, do you think it was you, Kristen? Kristen DePisa, welcome. Hello, everyone. Good to see you, Kristen. Uh, welcome back, coming to us from the Renaissance period. Uh, Kristen, what was your gig in the Renaissance period? Equality for women. Equality for women. Okay, and you wanted to make sure everyone was treated equally. I'm sure you wanted that for the guys too, although the guys had a lot more rights. Was that the one thing I wanted everyone to remember? That was not it. Uh, Kristen, we'll have to have a, a seat over here. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, next, we move on to uh, the Renaissance. Oh, I have the crown on here because of all the king and queen stuff at that time. Uh, this guy we have to have join us today. From the time of about the Renaissance, Martin Luther, welcome. Well, it's nice to be here with you. Uh, Martin, uh, boy, I don't remember you looking like that in the pictures. Well, I was using some of that stuff to grow some hair. Uh, well, good, Martin. Uh, glad for you. Um, your uh, your big thing, Martin, was about what? Reformation. Reformation. You wanted uh, people to worry about change. Things always have to be changing. Will they change for me? You bet. Change is going on all the time. Okay, so we always have to be ready for change. I'm not always ready for that, Martin. You have to be. It's going to happen. New kids come along, different ideas. Okay, so we'll be ready for change. Um, let's see. So... Um, was it you have to be ready for change? That would be the second one. First one was uh, Kristen's talking about equal rights for everyone, um, treating everybody in a good way. Uh, number two, Martin Luther saying we have to be ready for change. No, those aren't the ones. It would be nice if you would remember those. Uh, let's see, the third one. had a. I feel fortunate in my life. I've done a number of different things to earn a living. I uh, really enjoyed teaching and spending time with all of you great kids. Um, but I have had other occupations and I want you to be ready for that too. Um, had a friend once who said, love what you do and the money will come. Love what you do and the money will come. Uh, boy, I've had the opportunity to uh, draw plans for people um, and homes and businesses. Uh, actually had the opportunity to build some of those homes and businesses. That was fun. I uh, knew a teacher once, his summer job was roofing houses. He said, you have to get away from the book work for a little while. I guess you have to balance your physical and uh, mental things that you do too. Uh, I even had a chance to do a little bit of landscaping. Ooh, that balsam fir smells really nice. It's a fir, it has the nice soft needle. Uh, had the chance to uh, grow food for the great people in this country. I worked for, at the canning company. Those peas look pretty good. Um, so I had that opportunity. Um, and uh, probably one of the best jobs I ever had was working at the beverage stand at the fair, getting people things to drink. Uh, when people are at the fair, they're there to have fun. And uh, everybody's in a good mood. I was in the shade. I was getting things for people. I had unlimited soda privileges, uh, which was kind of nice too. But um, so different jobs that are available out there. I was talking to a very wise uh, restaurant owner last night, though, and he said, bah, all that money stuff. Uh, you get older, you want your knees, you want your hips, so you can still ride your Harley, uh, things like that is what um, he said it's important to, uh, you know, take care of your body. So that would be the third thing, uh, love what you do. Uh, but that wasn't the one thing I told you to remember. Um, boy, going to that song, don't know much about history, don't know much biology. Would be nice if you'd remember all that school stuff. But yes, the one thing that I did tell you was take care of your teeth. Um, your teeth are so important. You'll want those when you get older. Um, if you have a cavity or something, it's like an unseen sore on your body. Um, and you want to make sure that your, your teeth are all in good shape. So um, that was the, the secret thing, it, not the secret. Uh, I told you at the beginning of the year, uh, if there's anything I want you to remember, if you forget everything else in the class, remember to take care of your teeth. And uh, so I want to wish you the best on the summer vacation and uh, looking forward to another uh, school year coming up. So enjoy your time. Take care.